Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using Google Tag Manager. You'll walk through creating your first container in Google Tag Manager, how to add a Google Analytics tag, and how to implement the Google Tag Manager code on your website. You'll be up and running in no time. Let's get started. To start, we need to log into Google Tag Manager and then select Create Account. You can think of your Google Tag Manager account a bit like your Google Analytics account. Each account should only be used to track websites for one individual company. Let's name the account. And select our location and choose if we want to anonymously share data for benchmarking. Then we need to name the container. Containers are like properties in Google Analytics. Creating a new container will give us a unique piece of JavaScript that we'll then need to implement on our website. Typically, we name the container using the domain name of our website. We can also select how we'll be using Google Tag Manager. I'm going to select Web, but you can see there are options to use Google Tag Manager for managing tags for iOS, Android, and AMP. Now we need to agree to the terms. And now we have our new account and our new container. We can see the Google Tag Manager code that we need to add to all the pages on our website. If you're using a platform like WordPress, then you can add the code to your template or use a plugin to add Google Tag Manager. Now it's time to add our Google Analytics tag to Google Tag Manager. So let's click Add a new tag. And name our tag. Then we select Tag Configuration and select Universal Analytics. We can then select the drop-down under Google Analytics Settings and choose the option to create a new variable. Now we need to name the variable. And enter our tracking ID from Google Analytics. You can find your tracking ID by heading to Google Analytics and selecting Admin. Then we just need to select Tracking Info and Tracking Code. The tracking ID is shown at the top of the page. Now we can head back to Google Tag Manager. Enter our tracking ID and save the variable. We then need to define when we want our Google Analytics tag to fire. So let's select Triggering. And since I want the tag to fire on all pages, I'm going to select the default All Pages Trigger. Let's save the tag. Now we need to publish our Google Analytics tag to our live website. We need to click Submit. Next, we name the version. Versions allow us to see the different changes we've applied to our website. It gives us a version history. So we want to use a version name that provides details about the changes we've made in Google Tag Manager. Now we just need to click Publish. That's it. Now the Google Analytics tag has been added to our website. You can also use Google Tag Manager to add other tags to your website and also configure additional tracking for Google Analytics. You can find links to my other tutorials in the description below this video. So that's how you can start using Google Tag Manager to add tags like Google Analytics to your website. As we've seen, it's easy to get started. Then when you're ready, you can begin using Google Tag Manager to configure more advanced tracking on your website. For example, you can use Google Tag Manager to track how far down on pages people scroll, if they're watching embedded YouTube videos and other custom interactions. To learn more about how you can use Google Tag Manager to track interactions on your website, check out my tutorials in the description below this video. The great thing with Google Tag Manager is you can start simple and then build out your implementation as you need. You can even add other third-party tags like Facebook Pixels and more to your website quickly and easily. Are you using Google Tag Manager? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.